So here we have two hosting companies that are both recommended by WordPress. So which one should you choose? Or does it even matter? Well, in this video, I'm going to do an apples to apples comparison of both SiteGround and Bluehost for WordPress hosting. Hi everyone, David Jackson here with Sling & Stone Marketing. And on this channel, I share with you the tools and strategies to help you market your business online. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and click the bell so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And at any point in this video, you can check out the show notes and links to any resources that I mentioned in the video description below. Okay, so for this comparison, we're going to take a look at a couple of different categories which are important when choosing a web hosting company. Uh, the categories are the support that they offer, uh, the speed technology that they have, their features, uh, what other people are saying about them, uh, otherwise known as the social proof, and their pricing. So let's get started. So first up we have support, which in my opinion is the most important thing when choosing a web hosting provider, especially if you're not all that technically inclined, because sooner or later something is going to go wrong and you don't want to have to wait on the phone for a very long time uh, or send in a support ticket and not receive a response back for days at a time. You want to be able to reach a support representative as quickly as possible so that they can resolve your issue as quickly as possible and get your website back up again. Bluehost offers 24-7 technical support through phone and chat. And they even have different phone numbers depending on what area of support you need. So if you have general support questions, then you can call one number. Whereas if you need help with something with WordPress, you can call another. And they also have an extensive knowledge base where you can uh, put the problem that you're having into a search box and it will return some results that will give you some troubleshooting steps in order for you to go through that might resolve your issue. One of the downsides is that they don't have a support ticket system. Uh, and I kind of question why this is the case. Uh, they are a big company. Uh, they have a lot of resources. So why don't they have a support ticket system? Uh, it, would be nice to have just another way for somebody to be able to interact with your support team. So that's a negative there. SiteGround on the other hand offers 24 seven support tickets, live chat and phone support. And their support ticket response is less than 10 minutes, which is the fastest in the industry. Uh, their live chat support is instantaneous and their phone support is also instantaneous. They overstaff all of their shifts so that they always have someone available to either answer a chat or to pick up the phone whenever someone needs assistance. Uh, they also highlight some of their best performing support reps every month. Uh, I don't see any other web hosting company do that. It, to me, it shows that they are putting a lot of focus on having support available and making sure that the customer is satisfied and giving their support reps an incentive to do so by highlight, highlighting them on their blog uh, every month. Next up is speed. And what we're looking for here is something that tells us that the servers that our website is going to be hosted on is using software and hardware that is designed to uh, be fully optimized for speed. So then that way, when our website is running on it, we can take full advantage of those features in order to make our website load faster. Now, SiteGround clearly displays uh, how they're using the best in speed technology. They have SSD drives, uh, Internet servers, a caching plugin that you can use for WordPress, a free one-click content delivery network through Cloudflare, HTTP2 servers, and PHP 7. Now, when I looked on Bluehost, I couldn't find anything that talked about how their servers were equipped for uh, being fast. I didn't see any mention of SSD drives uh, or PHP 7 or any type of caching ability like that. Uh, and that's a little bit of an issue for me. Uh, if I were to walk into a car dealership and I want to buy a fast car, then I want to hear numbers like, uh, you know, how much horsepower it has, uh, the displacement of the engine, if it's a V12 or if it's a V6 engine, uh, is it twin turbo, you know, things that tell me that this car is built for speed. Uh, if all they do is just tell, tell me that, well, you know, hey, our car is fast, just trust us, and, and they don't give me any hard numbers, then I'm going to be kind of hesitant on, you know, checking out that car. 
So in this case, I'm going to have to give the point to SiteGround because they're the ones telling me, hey, this is the technology that we have in order for our servers to run faster, whereas Bluehost isn't really telling me anything at all. So next up is the features. And I'm going to first talk about what they both include, and then I'm going to go over what each one offers that the other doesn't. They both offer a 99.9% .9 uptime, and although I couldn't explicitly find this written on Bluehost's website, 99.9% .9 is the industry standard, so I'm going to assume that they can at least hit that. They both offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if it's not working out or if you change your mind within those 30 days, you can cancel your account and get a full refund. Uh, all of the plans that they offer are also uh, optimized for WordPress, along with free automatic updates, and they also offer free SSL certificates for uh, secure web connections. And they both offer 24-7 support, although there were a little bit of differences between the two, which I mentioned earlier in the video. Now, some of the things that Bluehost offers that SiteGround doesn't is they give you a free domain name for your first year. Then after that year is up, then you just have to pay the going rate for uh, the domain name registration, which is typically around $10 or $15 per year. Uh, they also give you 50 gigabytes of website space. Uh, this is five times more than what SiteGround offers. But Bluehost doesn't have SSD drives, which means that the data delivery is going to be slower. So you are getting somewhat of a trade-off there. You get more space, but it's going to be a lot slower data delivery compared to the SSD drives that SiteGround gives you. And some of the things that SiteGround offers that Bluehost doesn't is a one-click migration tool for WordPress. This means that if you're moving from another hosting company and your website is on WordPress, you can easily move it over to SiteGround using their migration tool. Some other hosting companies actually charge a fee to do this, but with SiteGround, it's free. They also give you daily backups, which is important because if something were to happen to your website, uh, you want to make sure that you have a backup ready so that you don't lose all of the work and time that you've put into building it up to what it is today. And they also have multiple data centers around the world that you can choose to host your website. So if you're here in the U.S. and the majority of your visitors are living in the U.S., then you choose a data center in the U.S. But if you are in Asia or if the majority of your visitors are in Asia, then you can choose a data center in Asia. And they also have two data centers in Europe as well. And lastly, they also offer a free one-click content delivery network installation through Cloudflare. And if you click the link in the upper right-hand corner, it will take you to a video where I walk you step by step through how to implement that through SiteGround. So let's move on to what others are saying about these two companies. I'm a part of a WordPress Facebook group, and for the past three years, we've held a poll with our members to find out which hosting companies they're using and which ones they recommend to their clients. And in 2016, SiteGround was number one, whereas Bluehost was number 15. In 2017, SiteGround was number one again, and Bluehost didn't even make the top 15. And again in 2018, SiteGround was number one for the third year in a row. Now these are people who are just like you and me who have websites that are hosted on WordPress, and we've dealt with different hosting companies in the past, both good and bad, and yet for the past three years, SiteGround has been number one. Now, another thing that I also want to mention is that Bluehost is owned by EIG. Now, EIG stands for Endurance International Group, and they are notorious for buying web hosting companies and pretty much just ruining the entire reputation of the company. Uh, their support just goes to complete trash. Uh, the performance of the websites that are hosted on their servers also take a dive and customers just really aren't happy. They wind up leaving from one web hosting company and going to another one, which could also still be owned by EIG. So in EIG's case, they're not losing a customer at all. They're just going from one brand and switching over to another. So one of the things that people say is to always stay away from companies that are owned by EIG. 
Now they are always acquiring new web hosting companies. So there is actually a running list of companies that are owned by AIG so that you can take a look at it, see if the hosting company that you have now is a part of that uh, big corporation. And if so, you may want to consider switching to either SiteGround or another web hosting company that is not owned by them. And lastly, we have pricing. Now, if you're just starting out and all you need is just one website, then you're going to want to use the startup plan on SiteGround or the basic plan on Bluehost. So I'm going to compare those two right now. Now, SiteGround has an introductory price of $3.95 per month. Then after that introductory rate is over, the price goes to $11.95 per month. Now, Bluehost, they offer $3.95 per month as an introductory price. And then after that, it goes up to $7.99 per month, which is $4 cheaper than SiteGround. Now, there are a couple of caveats. Uh, on Bluehost, in order for you to get the $3.95 per month introductory rate, you have to purchase three years of hosting up front. Otherwise, it would be $5.95 per month for you to only do one year of hosting at the introductory rate or $4.95 per month as an introductory rate if you purchase two years up front. Whereas on SiteGround, it doesn't matter if you buy one year, two years, or three years of hosting, the introductory price is still only going to be $3.95 per month. So even though SiteGround is $4 more expensive per month, uh, you're really only talking about less than $48 over the course of a year between the two. And with SiteGround, you're going to get better technology and more features compared to Bluehost. Uh, so this is kind of really a case of you get what you pay for. And there are also possible instances where you will be running into uh, a lack of support or not very good support being that it, that it is an EIG owned company. Uh, so you want to take that into consideration when making your choice. So I think the winner is clear and that winner is SiteGround. They give you more options for support and quicker su support. Uh, the servers that your website is going to be hosted on is optimized for speed. They give you more features than Bluehost and they are highly respected within the WordPress community. The only place where they may fall short is pricing. But in this case, it's kind of like uh, you get what you pay for. So even though you'll be paying a little bit more, you're getting more features and better technology that comes along with that. Now that we've gone through the comparison between these two, let me know in the comments below which one you decided to go with. And if you want to see more tools and strategies to help you market your business online, don't forget to click the subscribe button. I thank you for taking your time to watch this and I will see you in the next video.